Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. I say this is Intervlog, and I am here once more. I'm here because there is one important information that I brought to you today, and this information is very, very important. This is one of the most important informations that I have brought to you ever. Therefore, listen very carefully. The topic of Ibrahim Traoré is now going across the boundary, and it has landed in South America. For some of you who do not know, Ibrahim Traoré is more famous in South America than he is in Africa presently, and there is a reason for that. That reason that made Ibrahim Traoré more popular in South America than he is in Africa is going to be revealed here, and you are going to believe it immediately when you see it. Now, Ibrahim Traoré, since he came into power, there is one trend he has been doing that Africans never noticed because that is not what Africa is used to. But in South America, it is very, very meaningful. And you would ask me, what is that? That thing is a quote by Che Guevara. Whenever Ibrahim Traoré makes an important speech, he ends it with a quote, which is, Homeland or we perish. He will speak it in French. This made Ibrahim Traoré very, very popular in South America, because every South American loved Che Guevara, and they have seen a young leader who is copying what Che Guevara did, and they are very happy about that. Now, but this is not the only reason I'm here. I'm here to let you know that the president of Nicaragua invited delegates from Burkina Faso for a visit, and this is not the first time they have been in Nicaragua. And this visit happened this month. Axe Ouagadougou Managua, Burkinabe personalities at the meeting of presidents of Nicaragua institutions. Managua, July 23, 2024. Present in Nicaragua as part of the commemoration of the 45th anniversary of the Sandinist Revolution, the Burkinabe delegation, led by the president of the Constitutional Council, Master Barthelemy Carre, and Mrs. Stella Eldine Cabre Cabore, minister delegate in charge of regional cooperation, made visits to institutions of the Republic of Nicaragua. At the National Assembly of Nicaragua, the meeting with Mrs. Arlene Patricia Alonso Gomez, the first vice president of this institution allowed the head of the Burkinabe delegation to salute the resistance of the Nicaraguan people in the face of imperialism and colonialism, and to express the willingness of Burkina Faso to draw inspiration from this example in the fight against and in the quest for its sovereignty. Also, the two personalities expressed their willingness to see the cooperation between the two parliaments strengthen in a short time. Among other things, the head of the Burkinabe delegation invited Nicaraguan parliamentarians to make a working visit to the country of men of integrity. At the Ministry of Foreign Relations of Nicaragua, exchanges with His Excellency Mr. Dennis Moncada Colindres, head of diplomacy of Nicaragua, focused on strengthening cooperation between the two countries. Regarding the working visit in the Supreme Electoral Council of Nicaragua, the delegation was received by Madam Brenda Rocha, Magistrate President of the Supreme Electoral Council in Nicaragua. During the visit, they had to listen to an audio presentation of who Ibrahim Traore is. And that presentation, presented in Spanish, would will be translated in English, and you will hear it exactly how they had it in Nicaragua. When you hear this presentation, you will be maveled at whom Ibrahim Traoré is to the public. This was televised nationwide. It was on national TV. And let's go and listen to that presentation they made about Ibrahim Traoré. This presentation also is carried by a popular newspaper in South America known as Geopolitical Economy. Let's go. The new president of Burkina Faso, Ibrahim Traoré, has vowed to fight imperialism and neocolonialism invoking his country's past revolutionary leader Thomas Sankara and quoting Che Guevara. The West African nation has also formed close diplomatic ties with the revolutionary governments in Nicaragua, Venezuela, Cuba, and Iran, as well as with NATO's arch-rival Russia. In January 2022, a group of nationalist military officers in Burkina Faso toppled the president, Roche Cabore, a wealthy banker who had fostered close ties with the country's former colonizer, France, where he was educated. 
the military officers declared a government run by what they call the Patriotic Movement for Safeguard and Restoration, MPSR, led by a new president, Paul Henri Sandaogo de Miba. They pledged to seek true independence from French hegemony, condemning the neo-colonial policies and economic, political, and military control that Paris still exercises over Francophone West Africa. Burkina Faso ended its decades-long military agreement with France, expelling the hundreds of French troops that had been in the country for years. The new president, Damiba, was initially popular, but support waned as he was unable to defeat the Salafi jihadist insurgents that have destabilized the country. In September 2022, discontent led to a subsequent coup in Burkina Faso, which brought to power another nationalist military leader named Ibrahim Traoré. He was just 34 at the time, making him one of the world's youngest leaders. Traoré has pledged to carry out a refoundation of the nation and comprehensive modernization to quell extremism, fight corruption, and totally reform our system of government. The charismatic Burkina Bay leader frequently ends his speeches with the chant, La patrie ou la mort, nous vaincrons, the French translation of the official motto of revolutionary Cuba. Patria o muerte, venceremos. Homeland or we perish. We will prevail. As president, Traoré has brought back some of the revolutionary ideas of Thomas Sankara. Sankara was a Marxist Burkina Bay military officer and committed pan-Africanist who ascended to power in a 1983 coup. Sankara launched a socialist revolution, transforming the impoverished country through land reform, infrastructure development, and expansive public health and literacy programs. Under Sankara's leadership, Burkina Faso also challenged French neocolonialism and pursued an anti-imperialist foreign policy, forming alliances with revolutionary struggles across the global south. These leftist policies were reversed in 1987, when Sankara was overthrown, led by his former ally, Blay Compaoré, who subsequently moved hard to the right and allied with the United States and France, ruling through rigged elections until 2014. Today, Ibrahim Traoré is drawing heavily on the legacy of Sankara. He has made it clear that he wants West Africa and the continent as a whole to be free of Western neo-colonialism. The Russian government held a Russia-Africa summit in St. Petersburg. Traoré was the first African leader to arrive to the conference. There, he delivered a fiery anti-imperialist speech. We are the forgotten peoples of the world. And we are here now to talk about the future of our countries, about how things will be tomorrow in the world that we are seeking to build, and in which there will be no interference in our internal affairs," Traoré said. In his speech, the Burkinabe head of state also focused on sovereignty and the struggle against imperialism. Why does resource-rich Africa remain the poorest region of the world? We ask these questions and get no answers. However, we have the opportunity to build new relationships that will help us build a better future for Burkina Faso, the president said. African countries have suffered for decades from a form of colonialism and imperialism, which could be called a modern form of slavery, he stressed. However, a slave who does not fight for his freedom is not worthy of any indulgence. The heads of African states should not behave like puppets in the hands of the imperialists. We must ensure that our countries are self-sufficient, including as regards food supplies, and can meet all of the needs of our peoples. Glory and respect to our peoples. Victory to our peoples. Homeland or we perish. Traore summed up quoting the words of legendary Cuban revolutionary leader Ernesto Che Guevara. The 35-year-old president of Burkina Faso was attired in a camouflage uniform and red beret during the summit. On July 29th, Traore had a private meeting in St. Petersburg with Russian President Vladimir Putin. In their talks, the Burkina Bay leader praised the Soviet Union for defeating Nazism in World War II. Now you have heard it, and you heard how they talk about Ibrahim Traore, how he end his speech with Venceremos, or La Muerte, which is victory, 
or we all perish. And you have seen the reason they adore him. It is because Ibrahim Traoré wants to copy there the ideology of Che Guevara, Fidel Castro, Putin, Hugo Chavez, and so on and so forth. And this made him popular in South America. Ibrahim Traoré is being honored and adored across the world because of his good governors. He is the only president in Africa who is not moving with a convoy of many exotic vehicles. The only president in Africa who does not care about the type of vehicle he drives. If you check other president in Africa, you will see what I'm talking about. You will see president who will get into office, and within one month he has approved Toyota Land Cruiser. For him, for his four escort, for his wife, all his children, local government chairmen, governors, and lawmakers. Sometimes the number exceed up to 1,000 pieces, and they don't care. And when you ask them, they said that they need a good vehicle to do their work properly. And when you ask them, is this not mismanagement of public fund, they said that they will work harder to make sure that the money is recovered. When you ask them, how do you recover the money, they say they will go to a different country and bring investors to come and invest in their country, which is impossible because you have used your own money to buy Toyota and you will think that other countries who are using their own money to invest for manufacturing will just be sending their companies to come and invest in your country. Don't you know that that Toyota Land Cruiser you have acquired 1,000 pieces or maybe 500 pieces, that each one of those Toyota Land Cruisers costs $200,000? Don't you know that $200,000 can build three factories? If you multiply three factories by the numbers of Toyota Land Cruises you have acquired, you would not bother of going to another country to bring a company to establish factories in your country because you have already established it. And no company or no country is coming to establish factories in your country. You are elected to establish the factories or support small factory to make it bigger. Or if you do not know what to do, Take the money and buy tractors. Send everybody to farm. Africa need food, which is what Ibrahim Traoré is doing. But the president in Africa, they don't do that. And this is the reason everybody is praising Ibrahim Traoré, that each penny of Burkina Faso has been spent in a good way. He refused to buy Toyota Land Cruiser for himself, for the governors, for the ministers, for the local government chairman, and for the loan makers. Instead, he used the money to buy tractors and to send Burkina Faso farmers to work. Two weeks ago, he bought vehicles for the hospitals. He gave them to the doctors to go and be treating patients around Burkina Faso. This is how a good leader thinks. And this is the reason Nicaragua likes Burkina Faso. This is the reason South America likes Burkina Faso. And this is the reason the world entirely adore him. Thank you very much for watching. If you have a president whom his plan is only to go and acquire 500 pieces, 300 pieces, or 1,000 pieces of Toyota and share it among the politicians, that president is not a good president. He is actually squandering our money. Each of that vehicles they are driving cost $200,000 US dollars. Let them use it and create factories. Let them use it and support industries. Let them use it and buy tractors and send everybody to farm. $200,000 is not a small amount of money. That is the money that could build three big factory. If you multiply it by the numbers they are buying, that is the amount they are squandering. Thank you very much for watching. This is in Tav Log and take note about this.